Build Corp have been sponsoring rugby for around about 30 years, um, not long after we began the business. And we began sponsoring university club rugby, uh, starting with Sydney Uni and um, now four university club rugby sides, the men's and women's. Uh, we sponsor the national women's rugby team, the Wallaroos, uh, the Super W competition, uh, Aon Sevens University uh, rugby, the women's rugby. So um, we've had uh, long and deep roots with rugby in this country. What I did notice was the ability, the athletic ability of these girls, which was which was just incredible, and uh, at such a young, young age. But to then go to the next level and get this, put the skills on top of it, which is you know not only the mental skills but the but the actual passing, catching, kicking skills, was really the key. The lack of women in construction is a little bit like the lack of women we used to see in rugby, and. Bit by bit, as a society, we're moving along and there are more women coming into our business in construction-based roles, more women coming into rugby in, as players and coaches and managers. So for us, it's just a natural evolution. It should be happening in rugby. That is happening um, across all women's sports, so it's exciting across the board. I'm Mila Alaro and I go to Westfield Sports High School in Fairfield West. My goals this year for Rugby Sevens are make the New South Wales Sevens team at the end of the year. and just play good school rugby at the carnivals. I look at my journey and go, well, I only thought about rugby as an opportunity when I was at university and to, to, to know that there are girls playing now junior level and to see a clear pathway with opportunity to be able to grow through and develop from junior through to academy to state-based and then hopefully through to Wallaroos is, is really exciting. 2020 is very exciting for the Australian Women's Sevens team because we have the Tokyo Olympics and so the Sevens are going to get a real run. Next year for the 15s team, the Wallaroos, we have a World Cup in New Zealand. So right now, particularly for me in my role with Rugby Australia and the Women's Rugby, we have these um, fantastic opportunities for women to not just participate in rugby but to win gold medals at Olympic Games and Commonwealth Games, uh, to win World Cups and the way this works is of course increasing participation but also increasing money into the sport so I really very much hope that other corporates will come and stand shoulder to shoulder with Build Corp and Investec and all of us who have come on board and behind IRA Accor and try and ensure that we build a really good and strong pipeline for young women who want opportunities to represent their country whatever way that might be in whatever format of the game. From the very beginning when we were approached to see if we'd be interested in supporting IRA, uh, the genuine interest um, in IRA for the participation of girls uh, really mattered to me. It wasn't just talk, they really wanted to know how to make this work. And in my role as President of Australian Women's Rugby, it is part of my responsibilities to make sure that we're building sensible pathways and pipelines of future, you know, Wallaroos, Pearls, uh, club rugby players, administrators, coaches. So for me, uh, they were so open to understand, try to understand what are the issues we're facing and we're just solutions focused. And I'm just so very grateful to Ira and so it was with real pleasure that uh, my husband and I decided to uh, put on a few bursaries to ensure that uh, whatever girl wanted to come along, wherever she was from, uh, whatever their means, uh, financial means were, that that wasn't an, an obstacle. We wanted to make sure that we had an opportunity to put the best talent in front of Ira.